Hello everyone. Water bottles were seen flying in Nasrak as members of the Economic Freedom Fighters squared up with Premier Lucifer's crime prevention wardens known as Amapanyaza during the Gauteng lack of the state of the province address. The Nazi Spani recipients and the Economic Freedom Fighters members clashed just moments before Lucifer could deliver his final sopa during the current administration at the Nasrak Expo Center on Monday night. Matters came to a head when the EFF's Gauteng Deputy Chairperson and MPL Philip Magwala rose on a point of order and questioned why the Amapanyaza were at the SOPA instead of fighting crime in their communities. The question caused the Amapanyaza to respond with fire from the public gallery as they threw bottles and reacted angrily to the question. Gauteng Speaker Dombi Mehwe asked Magwala to sit down, but before he did, the angry crowd of Nazi Span beneficiaries responded to the EFF, while other Nazi Span directed their anger towards the EFF, shouting EFF must go. The EFF said those disrupting proceedings were ANC rented crowd people, not members of the public. The Nazi Spani recipients present included the Crime Prevention Wardens, Green Army, Teacher Education Assistants and Building Inspector Assistants that were among the 90,000 young people employed by the Gauteng government in the past. This caused proceedings to be disrupted for about 10 minutes before Lissifi was allowed to deliver his speech. Meanwhile, Lissifi said they had refurbished over 3,000 sponsor shops across the Gauteng townships and established a digital township business register database with over 20,000 township businesses already captured. He said this was part of the reclaiming townships for shops and economy. He mentioned that the rental stock in the townships continued to grow and proper channels should be in place to ensure economic growth. Over 4 million people rent backrooms which provide much needed additional income to township households and our government is on the ground to support the growth of, of this economic sector. Liz Sophie added that to date, 126 landlords have been supported with building loans resulting in 847 backyard units and the completion of 60 commercial units. The Premier vowed to deal with the load shedding crisis in the province. According to Lee Sufi, a five-point strategy was adopted to respond to this crisis, eliminating all illegal power connections installing smart meters in every home and business, improving revenue collection, cleaning the indigent register and replacing all damaged transformers. He also said they will be adding 100 megawatts of electricity to the grid to mitigate the impact of load shedding. Recently, Lisufi visited solar gas tubes projects implemented by the Johannesburg City Power as part of the Gauteng Energy Response Plan. He said they would be available by April 1 to keep the lights on. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.